God is faithful. Prophecy. A word came to Adazi in the Lord, Prophet Anyangwe Sebastian, on the 31st December 2016, about forceful remover, detronment, assassination of world leaders, precedence by the masses or terrorists, paid agents due to corruptions, injustice, malpractices, misappropriation of public funds, bad governance. He said the masses will dethrone many because they have betrayed their trust. This prophecy will continue to unfold in the years ahead. If there is no change in the governmental setting, to hold their moral obligations to humanity and God. This prophecy marks the new area the world will be facing. This prophecy was posted on his Facebook and YouTube channel for the glory of God. Let us watch what he has to say. To say secondly, there's going to be more attacks on country's leaders because of lack of trust and because of lack of trust and justice. Because of trust, lack of trust and justice, there's going to be attack on this country's leaders. Malfunctionings, manipulations, and also fraud and poor management. Leaders will lose trust on their people because of the way they will handle management, management of the country, and the people will riot, they will pull down the leaders, they will remove them from throne, they will dethrone so many of them. Some of these things will take place in Africa and everywhere in the world. They will put them down, the masses themselves, they will be the ones to do this work because of poor, poor management, because of injustice, misappropriation of form, and leaders will be assassinated Great leaders, they will plot their assassination in other countries, even in their own countries. They will plot this assassination. There will be assassination. Some will do it as a form of retaliation of what the other countries, which means countries will be in loggerhead, but there will be a second war. It will be happening like this. This one will accuse this country, you have done this, you have done this. Now watch this recent takeover from Guinea, Conakry, and many more. Not in his usual presidential attire. On this mobile phone video, the 83-year-old president appears disheveled. He's being detained by the country's special forces. Men meant to protect him now hold him in custody. One soldier asks him, have you been beaten or injured? No, he says. On national television, coup leader Mamadi Doumbouya, a former French legionnaire, now head of the country's special forces, says the borders are closed and the constitution dissolved. Condé has been deposed. The personalization of politics, of political life is over. We will no longer entrust politics to a man. We will entrust it to the people. We come only for that. It is the duty of a soldier to save the country. The only thing that motivates us is that. We are going to put in place a system that does not exist and we must all build this system together. There were celebrations in some neighborhoods of the capital before an overnight nationwide curfew was put in place with the military patrolling the streets. Coup leaders have removed regional governors and replaced them with military commanders. The military has asked civil servants to return to work on Monday and all former ministers and government officials are expected to gather at 11 a.m. at the People's Palace. The coup leaders say any defiance will be treated as an act of rebellion. Earlier, gunfire and explosions were heard around the presidential palace with men in uniform asking residents to stay indoors. Alpha Conde won last October's presidential election amidst widespread protest. He amended the constitution, allowing him to run for a third mandate. The outcome was disputed by the opposition and members of civil society. Security forces fired live rounds to disperse the demonstrators. French President Macron accused Condé of grabbing power, with neighboring Senegal and Guinea-Bissau closing their borders, leaving the president increasingly isolated.
Conde has been accused by critics of corruption and profiting from the mineral-rich country while leaving the citizens in poverty. Last week, Alpha Conde asked the parliament to raise the budget for the president while reducing budgets and wages of the civil servants and members of the security forces, stirring further discontent, especially among the ranks of the armed forces. Clearly, uh, the security forces, they are divided, as uh, this has been pointed out, but they are the one leading the game right now. And uh, uh, some people are wondering if they are some opposition leader in the background. It's, it's too early to say that. The United Nations Secretary General has called for the immediate release of the president and condemned the takeover by security forces. The African Union and ECOWAS have also condemned the coup, with the West African bloc threatening sanctions if the elected government isn't reinstated. After 11 years in power and thwarting numerous coup attempts, Alpha Conde appears meek and humiliated, no longer in power in a country in chaos faced with uncertainty. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Well, Ghanaian journalist Yusuf Barr sent us this update from Conakry. Up to now, the president is in the hand of the special force. Um, they've confirmed it and they said the president is safe. And nothing is going to happen with the president. And they've asked all Guineans to go to work tomorrow. And they've asked all government authorities to report tomorrow at the parliament building. Anybody who refuses to go, they will take that person, they'll call that person a rebel, and this person, person will be arrested. Um, just now, military officials we are telling us, talking to we, the journalists around the national television tonight, although we have the curfew, they said to Yusuf, this coup is not a military coup. This is for the people. We are here to free the people. We are here. The people of Guinea have been suffering, so they are asking all Guineans to support them. He said it's like they are getting the support from the general public. Everybody is in line with the uh, cool leaders. Everybody, up to now, Lydia is coffee, but there are some areas, people are in the streets, still dancing, welcoming the military. And there is no military patrol in the streets. Nobody is patrolling the streets. They've asked everybody to go to work tomorrow. So if people go to work tomorrow, definitely 100% the military have succeeded. Everybody is in support of them. There came a time when Guineans uh, were asking for change. Most of the Guineans were asking for change. So this is exactly what is happening. Well, the UN Secretary General has tweeted about the coup in Guinea, saying, I'm personally following the situation there very closely. I strongly condemn any takeover of the government by force of the gun and call for the immediate release of President Alpha Conde. Okwasi Ose is a professor of history and political science at Delaware University. He says citizens are backing Colonel Dumbuya. Don't forget, Colonel Dumbuya is a Conde man. He was placed in charge of the special forces and specially trained to protect Conde. So I think it's important to understand why perhaps the country uh, seems to stand behind him, because he is considered uh, a Conde person. And if he believes that this is what they need to do, then perhaps um, uh, that's why they're following him. So all sources say, that in spite of the AU ECOWAS requests uh, for them to go back to the barracks, uh, it's not working. It's not being heard in, in, in Guinea. And the people are behind Colonel Dumbuya. We just have to look next door to Mali to find out what happened in Mali. And Cote d'Ivoire, for, for example. We're talking about situations where uh, uh, sitting presidents force their way into uh, unconstitutional uh, third terms. And we know what happened uh, in Mali. We still have the military in control. They're still discussing what to do next in Mali. I believe that is precisely what's gonna happen in Guinea. Um, it's, you know, right now, there's no question that um, uh, Colonel Dumbuya is in charge and he's the de facto head. So sanctions or no sanctions, they, they would have to talk to him. And more importantly, they would have to take the measure of the country. And it is clear that it is a popular uprising, at least as of the moment. God is faithful. If we are not governed by God, then we will be ruled by tyrant. By God's own sovereign decree, presidents, kings, 
prime ministers, governors, mayors, police, and all other governmental authorities stand in his place for the preservation of society. <clears throat> to resist government is therefore to resist God, especially the one put in place by God. Romans chapter 13 verse 15, 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 3, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 13 to 15. We are praying for countries undergoing forceful takeover. We pray for stability and growth. Good leadership in the country of Guinea, Conakry, and Chad, etc. God is faithful to restore.